And I remember when I discovered Farley Jack Master Fong. That's the first house record I ever heard in a club. It was at Hacienda. I heard this track and it, it was kind of a, a thump in my face. You know, you get to a club, you kind of know the music they play and then the, the DJ, Mike Pickering, stops the music and plays this thing which comes out of nowhere, which has such a strong beat. It kind of kicks you in the face. So what I did is I ran straight up, you know, straight up there, and then I banged on the door, and and Mike Pickering opened the door, and I said, "What the fuck is this?" He was like, you know, laughing and saying, "I'm not telling you," and then closed the door. But whatever, I found out what this record was. It took me a month and a half to get a copy. I was living like half an hour away from Manchester, and every time I was calling this record shop called Spinning and say, "Do you have a copy of Farley?" Yeah, we got three, but be fast. So I was just you know, jumping in my car, half an hour drive, you get there, gone, no more. And it took me a long time to get these records. So you have to understand, it was hard to get these records. There was not that many copies. Same when I heard the first time I heard Derek May, Rhythm is Rhythm, it took me months to get a copy of Rhythm is Rhythm. You know, we were not flooded with this music. Because it's kind of a, it was a small thing back then. 